guys, so we are here for my week. Ugh, this is exactly how this week has been. I just have straight pregnancy brain. <laughs> and just, I cannot think of anything. Like, I'm like, what week is this? What week am I on? Week 27. Thank you. Ugh, literally, pregnancy brain. I cannot handle it. But <laughs> we are here for my week 27 update. Um... So we will get started with fun baby facts. So baby is the size of a cauliflower, which is about 14.5 inches and weighs two pounds. Two pounds, even though I feel like she's gonna be a little bit chunkier than Kai, so she might weigh a tiny bit more than two pounds, but we'll see. So apparently this week, baby looks like a thinner, redder, more wrinkled version of what she will look like at birth. But in the next few weeks, more fat will fill out her appearance. Your baby's immune system is continuing to mature as your baby's lungs, which are, as are your baby's lungs, which are still practicing breathing amniotic fluid. So that's it for baby facts, which is kind of cool. Like it's starting to, she's starting to look way more like a baby and a person and it just, so excited. We're getting so close. I literally cannot wait to have her like, just feel like I'm over pregnancy at this point and I just want to have my baby and just love her I just want to see what she looks like I feel like because I don't get ultrasounds it makes me like super super anxious to see what she looks like because with Kai I got ultrasounds every time I went so it was like I knew what she looked like and I was just like I like her where she is she's all mine I don't have to share her even though I really did want to have her it's like completely different like now I feel anxious like I'm like I want to know what she looks like I want to know like everything and I feel like I don't know anything like I know she's okay and I know she's got like a really good heartbeat and I know she likes to kick me all the time but other than that it's like a suspense and it's driving me nuts um so we will go ahead and jump right into my symptoms so I am what what is this 27 that's like officially the start of the third trimester according to something so I'm just going off like a little post that I've seen on Pinterest about the trimester breakdown so officially I am in my third trimester ah! third trimester it's like the end I am in the home stretch I feel like even though I still have like 12 or 13 weeks whatever I don't know I'm not good at math and I cannot believe it it has flown by so fast and I'm really hoping it does not slow down <laughs> because I remember with Kai it like felt like forever like when I got down to like five seven ten weeks I was like am I ever gonna have her will I be pregnant for the rest of my life <laughs> but it's nice to be in the third trimester and it has been kicking my ass I am so tired I literally cannot stay up. I am exhausted. Like mentally, physically, I am tired. And I just feel like I can't get enough sleep. And being in school definitely does not help right now. So yeah, I am just exhausted, which is like my main symptom this week. Um, another symptom is my gums are still bleeding. I mentioned that week 26, but I feel like they are bleeding more now, which is just a pain in the ass and I hate it. It's so gross. And then kind of like, ew, mommy, look. And I'm like, I know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, they're still bleeding, which sucks. And my dad's like, floss more. I tell you all the time, you better floss. So <laughs> it's an annoying symptom to say the least. Um, my feet are still swelling when I walk too long. My feet will swell if I wear socks that are like kind of tight or like boots. I know if I wear open, like not open toe shoes. So if I wear tennis shoes or my boots or anything like that, my feet immediately swell. Like they want to be in sandals. So I need this hot weather to come on. Um, my back is still achy like always, but it's not as bad as it was before. Thank God. It'll just get achy when I'm uncomfortable or if I'm sitting in a position too long, I kind of have to like readjust. So thank God for that. Um, not really a symptom, but just leading more into, well, I guess we could call it a symptom, but um, I noticed when I walked too long, it puts too much pressure on my pelvic still, so I have got the pregnant lady waddle when I walk too long. So if I do too much shopping, I start to waddle like an old lady, and I'm just like, ah, this is stupid. Um, also, I cannot get comfortable at night. I don't know if I'd call that a symptom per se, but I definitely cannot get comfortable at night. It takes me forever to get comfortable, and it's killer because I'm so tired, 
but I can't get comfortable, which means I can't fall asleep to solve my tiredness. So it's kind of like these symptoms just don't really work together. And that definitely, definitely sucks. Um, I haven't been to the doctors yet. I will be 28 weeks in a few days when I go. So probably my next update. Yeah, 28 week update. I'll have an update on that, but they don't ever do anything. But I'm seeing a new doctor, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm trying to think. I haven't gained any more weight. I'm still like 154 and a few ounces, whatever it is. But I am eating and trying to gain more weight and eating more snacky foods. It's just not really helping for me. Um, I have noticed that my hair has changed. It like, it's just kind of gross right now. Not dirty gross, but it's like it doesn't retain the nutrients and moisture that I put in it. So like all my oils and stuff that normally work and keep my hair looking really nice is not helping. So I'm noticing I'm washing my hair way more frequently, which is still counterproductive, but just a body change that I have noticed. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Also, we're contemplating when we're going to officially move into our house. Originally, uh, we had just kind of planned to stay there like on and off just because Kai goes to school out here um, where we live now with my parents. Like Kai goes to school out here and it's only a few minutes away and I have my classes out here that are only like five or six more weeks that I have left and doctors and everything. But I just feel like I'm ready to be in my own house full time and everything. So we might just move in full time and change doctors and everything, which will be interesting that I will be changing doctors last minute. Um, but I will keep you guys updated on that. Baby shower planning has been going great. If you guys watch that video, it will be up before this one. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much done, like I said in that video. So that's super exciting. I think that's it. I definitely feel like my belly is getting bigger, but it's funny because it gets bigger at night, which is kind of hilarious. Like in the morning, it's like normal and like not as full. Maybe I'm just more bloated at night, but definitely my fiance will be like, oh my God, look at your belly. And I'm like, shut up. Don't make me feel bad. Um, also fun pregnancy joy. My belly button sticks out now, like out, out, like almost all the time. <laughs> And Kai still tells me it looks like a butt, which is hilarious. And I'm like, really, kid? Also, I noticed that this week I can officially no longer see my toes when I look straight down. Before, it was like I couldn't see my belly over my boobs. And now I can't see my toes over my belly. So that's kind of funny. Um, I think that is it for this week. It's all I can think of, honestly. Um... So I'll just go ahead and show you guys my stomach and that'll wrap it up for this week. So I do have a really loose shirt on, but you can kind of see it a little bit when I kind of make it obvious, but from the front side and the other side. If we go ahead and Pull the shirt up from the front, and you can definitely see my belly button sticking all out from the side and other side. That is it for this week's pregnancy update. I feel like they're kind of quick, but compared to Kai's, it's not like much to update on because I am super busy and my doctor doesn't do anything which kills me but <laughs> next week will be a different update because I will have my doctor's appointment so I'll have way more to tell you guys about how I like the doctor and what happened and just more updates um but that is it for this week thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next update bye